Welcome to my channel. Think happy be happy. Subscribe. Think happy be happy. The stories of Vikram and Betal. The sad end. On this fresh voyage Betal began his story. Chunnidat was a trader who lived in Kamalpur. His wife's name was Manjri. Chunni loved his wife very intensely. Once, Chunni had to go to some other town on business. His heart didn't want to go away from the wife. He spoke to her, Dear, I can't live without you even for a moment. But business is calling me away for a long week. What to do? If I don't go business will gravely suffer. What should I do? Master, your love for me is natural. But looking after business is also your duty. You must go. Satisfied with her reasoning Chunni went away. Manjri got herself involved in the daily chores of life. Next morning, she went up to stroll on the roof of her house. She happened to see a young man on the next roof. She liked the young man at first sight and fell in love with him. But being a married she was afraid to reveal her feelings to him and went down to her room. Manjri spent two days in the dilemma of what to do or not to do. On the third day a friend came to visit her. She asked Manjri the reason for her sadness. Manjri confided her love for the neighborhood young man. The friend happened to know that young man whose name was Kamlakar. She promised Manjri, Dear, I know him. I will find whether he also likes you. The next day, Manjri's friend went to meet the young man Kamlakar. It was revealed that the young man was also fallen in love with Manjri ever since he saw her on the roof. The friend brought Kamlakar to Manjri's house. But to their shock they found Manjri dead. She had accidentally fallen from the stairs of her house and died. When the young man saw her dead, his heart beat also stopped. Since Chunni was away and Kamlakar had no living relative the villagers decided to perform their last rituals. They were taken to the cremation ground together. Meanwhile, Chunni returned from his business trip and learnt about the death of his wife. He ran to the cremation ground grief-stricken. By the time he reached there the funeral pyres of Manjri and Kamlakar had been lit. The scene overwhelmed Chunni. To him the life looked meaningless now. He jumped into the flames of the pyre of his wife and was burnt to ashes. Betal announced, Vikram, that brings us to the end of our story. Now the question is, whose death should be considered the greatest? Was it Kamlakar or Chunni? I think you have already worked out the answer. Vikram did not speak. Speak Vikram. I can feel your head wobbling with the right answer. Speak out before it. Betal, Chunni's death was the greatest, no doubt. Kamlakar died in love for a married woman. But Chunni gave up his life even after he learned how his wife had been disloyal to him. That is correct. You saved your head from exploding. And that earns me liberty as well. Har 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 har. Betal freed himself from the hold of Vikram and flew back flapping his arms presenting a frightening sight. Please subscribe my channel and encourage me to upload more videos.